Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to retrieve data from the database and insert it into our Flask application. The first step is going to be creating a class for our uh, tasks. So I'm going to say task, let's base it on the db.model, base it on this. Now I'm not going to actually go through creating all of this again because we have talked about all of these topics a lot so the table name is going to be tasks we are going to have a column task id it's going to be integer and primary key then we are going to have a foreign key relationship with the topic id from the topic class and then we the next column is going to be the description let's uh, set up the foreign key relationship as well there we go now uh, for us uh, to to be able to show all the topics what we did was to modify this display topics and to grab the topic query it and show all the topics there uh, we are going to do something like that in this lecture now what we are going to do here is uh, i've actually removed that topics equals to topics id some that topic id equal to topic id uh, within this uh, display tasks so in the display tasks what I'm going to do is we actually need two things because because tasks they are dependent upon topics so first we need to grab the topic then grab its um, ID as well after that we need to select all the tasks relevant or uh, associated with that topic so first I'm gonna to say topic keep in mind the first argument is the template and we have we are basically providing uh, the second argument and the third argument so the topic is gonna to come from the topic class dot let's query it and then let's filter it filter it by because whenever we want to go to the tasks page we want to filter that topic because we want to just show the tasks related to that topics now you might have 10 topics and each topic might have five tasks so you're going to end up with 50 tasks right when you go to every, any specific page for any topics tasks you just want to know the tasks which are related to that topic so for each topic when you have five tasks you just want to show those five not all the 50 that's why we need to filter it and what is it that we want to filter it by it's going to be by the topic id now usually this is going to give us the uh, uh, only one topic with that topic id but if that's not the case we just want to say okay give me the first which is going to return the first record from the query okay and next up now we need to grab all the tasks based on this topic id and show it to the user so let's go to the task class let's query it uh, query it we are going to filter it again because we filter it by the topic id tasks are related to topic id okay so where is the topic id coming from it's going to be topic id equal to uh, topic id now you might have one task for a specific topic two three or more therefore we are going to grab all the tasks that there are let's save that very very good now we need to modify the template as well so let's go inside the template and in here what i would like to do is first remove these i'm going to loop over uh, all of the tasks uh, within the database so i'm going to say for task in tasks this tasks variable template variable is coming from right here now for task in tasks what do we want to do we just want to show the task right now this loop variable when it when it iterates over this iterable in each iteration is going to grab one uh, record from the database that record has a description which we want to show on the web page so i'm going to say task dot description yeah i'm just going to remove this first part there we go so it's going to have the description and i'm going to show it there let's end our loop as well and four there we go so we have ended our uh, loop as well now in here we have our form uh, which is going to be add task topic id method is going to be post 
then we have our label then we have our task description um, now I'm not I'm not going to do any changes to this yet so we are done with that let's go ahead and let's run our server so what is the name of this file let's rename it copy that put it right here dot pi okay there we go our server is running I'm just gonna click on it so in the topics page in the main page or the root page we see the topics that we have entered they are being extracted or they're being retrieved from the database but now if I click on this we should see that execute the Python script task relating to this topic we do get an error has no property okay I have this is a typo so okay query it's q u e let's save this okay let's wait for the changes let's run this and there we go it says execute the current python script in the terminal now there is something else that is missing in our um uh in our in this web page we don't see that title where well, the, the topic title we should be able to see that so let me just take a look at it in here so we don't see that so what I'm going to do is in here uh, hmm. so what do I want to grab from here so I'm gonna provide it within an h1 that h1 is gonna grab the topic dot title there we go so so let's save that let's reload the page there we go so the title is now coming from the flask class as well so uh, where is the title coming from the title is going to come from where is it is going to come from here it's not it's it's well technically it is going to come from the class itself but what the URL has which URL has the ability to actually go ahead and filter it it's going to be this uh, this root this URL this is not the root URL this URL and when this URL is called we are going to call this one now we have selected the topic and we have set the first item when we query through this topic class and we say topic ID is equal to topic ID so the topic ID is equal to the topic ID that the user is trying to visit then the topic is going to be that specific topic that the user has clicked on so this is going to be the view function that is going to handle this title which comes from our database of course at the end of the day this title for the topic is going to come from the topic class that we have created so so far what we have done is we have uh, grabbed all of the topics from the database we have shown them here and then whenever you click on any topic we are going to we basically have implemented the functionality to show all the tasks as many as there are so even if there is no task even if there are so many tasks uh, we have actually implemented all the um, uh, all the tasks for that specific topic and we have shown it beneath it now this um, application we have not actually styled it yet we are going to we are going to style it towards the end of this section we just have two more lectures in which we need to go over two more functionalities the first functionality is going to be the addition functionality and that is whenever the user tries to add a new task or a new topic and the second functionality is the deletion so if you want to delete specific tasks or just a complete topic with all of its enclosing tasks we are going to uh, implement those in two different lectures so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one